to make a cyanotype right now out of a small chandelier that I bought from a, an antique store in Nashville. Um, so what I'll do is uh, take the paper that I've already coated with this cyanotype material out of my paper safe, lay it out on the cement, and then place a uh, the chandelier over it, um, and then wait for the light to expose the print. I first discovered the possibility of making photographs without a camera through the artist Anna Atkins. My photo teacher in undergrad showed us her work. She made contact prints with uh, flora and fauna from the UK where she was living and actually made the first book of photography ever by creating uh, images that were the exact footprint of um, plant specimen that she collected. She was also an amateur botanist. In 2014, I had the opportunity to go on three residencies in a row in Norway. And the first residency is in a former old people's home, a retirement community. There would be no dark room, and I thought it was an interesting opportunity to see what my photo practice would be if I didn't have a lens and if I didn't use an enlarger. So I packed paper and cyanotype chemistry with me and figured out um, the rest when I got there. I often do it just by whatever uh, inspires me in the moment, whatever kind of positioning. Um, I, I like to create long shadows, so I'll typically place it so that the sun will go across the object and uh, hopefully create a longer shadow. And then I just wait for the paper to be properly exposed, which I look for uh, a whitening to begin to happen. After the paper goes dark, it starts to go white. Photography is light. Anyone working in photography can tell you that. I like the idea of a light source that's no longer functional than being used with sunlight to create um, an image. For me, the point of cameraless, lensless, the series, is to get away from what is expected in, the, in photography, to get away from a digital image. I feel our world is so saturated with digital images, high-res images. The term photography, actually coined by John Herschel, translates to light writing. So I like the idea of the sun creating the image directly. I'm really interested in the ways we can push light to do the unexpected in photography. My images end up looking, some people call underwater landscapes or, or seascapes of some kind, or like jellyfish. I actually don't uh, necessarily identify myself as a photographer. I identify more as, as just an artist or a visual artist because um, my practice is well beyond the scope of what photography is and I'm actually thinking about uh, I'm thinking about what photography is, but I'm thinking about it in terms of um, what is it in space and what is it in time. I'm more interested in the surface and the material and the substance of photography and then also the experience of it over time.